do. Hello. You've loved them, but unfortunately, this is going to be your last little treat of Twelfth Night from Dean and I. This is from Act Two, Scene Four, and it's an exchange between Orsino, the Duke, who thinks he's in love with Olivia, and his servant Viola, who is playing Cesario because she's working for him in the guise of a young boy, and she is very much in love with her master. And this is um, a quite heated exchange that takes place between them. I'll be playing Orsino and Dean will be Olivia. Once more, Cesario, get thee to yon same sovereign cruelty. Tell her my love, more noble than the world, prizes not quantity of dirty lands. The parts that fortune hath bestowed upon her tell her I hold as giddily as a fortune. But tis that miracle and queen of gems that nature pranks in her attracts my soul. But if she cannot love you, sir? I cannot be so answered. Seuss, but you must. Say that some lady, as perhaps there is, have for your love as great a pang of heart as you have for Olivia. You cannot love her. You tell her so. Must she not then be answered? There is no woman's sides can bide the beating of so strong a passion as love doth give my heart. No woman's heart so big to hold so much, they lack retention. Alas, their love may be called appetite. No motion of the liver but their palate, that suffer surfeit, cloyment, and revolt. But mine is all as hungry as the sea, and can digest as much. Make no compare between that love a woman can bear me and that I owe Olivia. Aye, but I know. What oh, dost thou know? Too well what love women to men may owe. In faith they are as true as heart as we. My father had a daughter loved a man, as it might be, perhaps, were I a woman? I should, your lordship. And what's her history? A blank, my lord. She never told her love, but let concealment like a worm in the bud feed on her damask cheek. She pined and thought, with a green and yellow melancholy, she sat like patience on a monument, smiling at grief. Was not this love indeed? We men may say more, swear more, but indeed our shores are more than will, for still we prove much in our vows, but little in our love. But die thy sister of her love, my boy. I am all the daughters of my father's house, and all the brothers too, and yet I know not. Sir, shall I to this lady? Aye, that's the theme. To her in haste, give her this jewel. Say, my love can give no place, bide no denay. We had a little pause there because in some productions, when Orsina says give her this jewel, he actually kisses. Cesario, what do you think of that? Um, right, so you've had three little scenes. If Maybe that's just spurred you on to read the play. It is the first text that we start with when we get together. It's a nice little bridge because you've done Shakespeare at GCSE and then you come to us and we start with a Shakespeare. Very unlikely you'll have done a comedy though, and, and it is funny. Um, as you can tell from us acting it out. Um, Dean, do you want to just say anything about them studying Twelfth Night when they come back? Yes, yeah, so you're going to be building on from everything you've done with Macbeth and Romeo and Juliet, but like Julie said, it genuinely is funny. We get to watch several productions and it is a nice jump from what you've already been, what, what you've already done and what you're used to. Okay, so again, hope you've enjoyed looking around the site. Hope you've done your Guess the Characters quiz for your chance to win a book token. And we'll see you all, fingers crossed, in September.